Last Sunday, I think we focused our attention for our peace offering on uh, violence, how to help stop the violence. Violence at home, violence in our communities, violence in the nation, violence in the world. That was uh, the focus, and rightly so, because we hear that in the news every time it seems we turn our radio on and our TV on, we hear violence. Sometimes it's so much that it eclipses the other type of issues that is in our community. Human trafficking. In the coming Sunday, we are going to offer to raise money. Our peace offering will go towards human trafficking. It is as equal a dangerous issue in our community as the violence. Let me read you a little bit of story that concerns uh, human trafficking, especially in the Philippines. Supported, how old you are, this is be supported. Say, what happens in the Philippines? They have been flooded with uh, a lot of flood, a lot of uh, natural disaster, forces them into adverse poverty. And therefore, the children, families send out their children to go out into forced labor, more like they are lured into, oh, I'll give you a job. And the young girls and the young boys, they leave their homes, they leave their parents, they go out to work, and they may never return. And of course, vulnerable as they are, they don't have any support. Nobody defends them. So they are mostly slaves. They are paid, if they are paid, just peanuts. They may not even be able to take care of themselves in foreign places, let alone send home what they wished they could do. Mothers have also led their families, even fathers, they go out, wait for me, we'll go out and get the money and come back to you. Unfortunately, they may never come back, they may never go back. So that's an issue. It's not only an issue in the Philippines. It is an issue in most developing countries. And believe you, it is an issue even in the advanced countries like the United States. But in the coming week, next Sunday, our focus will be human trafficking in the Philippines. And I invite you to come next Sunday pledging to help as little as you can and as much as you can. That will be for a peace offering for next Sunday, how to stop human trafficking in the Philippines. Thanks. And so it's time to do our prayers of the people. I warn you before I start, I normally pray a long, I have a long prayer. The reason because I believe you pray as much as you have a need and as much as you have expectation. So don't sleep upon me, just listen. I'm praying your own best way. So please join me in prayers of the people and later on we pray as Jesus taught us. Let us pray. Almighty God, the everlasting Father, creator of the universe, we, your family of faith, our fourth street, we come before you this morning. We come through Christ Jesus, our Lord and our Savior, Christ, who allowed his blood to be shed for the atonement of our sins. Christ, who, under extreme pain and suffering, showed so much courage an infinite love by declaring each one of us forgiving of our past sins, forgiving of our present sins, and forgiving us of our future sins. Christ demonstrated extreme grace by declaring each one of us reconciled to your grace, God Almighty, through his own grace. Therefore, Christ is our passport to you, and we gather here coming through Christ Jesus, and we thank you for preserving our life, renewing us so that we are able to be here this morning to worship you. We thank you for keeping us safe from all dangers and the violence we hear every year, every day. We thank you for making it possible for us to be here in safety. Thank you for giving this opportunity to declare our gratitude to you for life you have preserved in us, for strength. 
All this we ask in the name of Jesus. I pray because each one of us has need. I pray for God's grace to fulfill those needs. Almighty <coughs> God, you full of abundance. Sometimes we see ourselves just like your people, the Israelites, being chased by challenges coming behind us. We look at our back and we see those challenges. Challenge of ill health, challenge of broken homes, challenge of conflict in our homes, challenge of joblessness, challenge of just simply being lonely in our little places. And we feel afraid just like your people Israel did. Thank you because you have assured us to be still and trust in your deliverance. Therefore, we come to you through Christ Jesus and put all these challenges before you, Almighty God, that through Christ, you, the faithful God, will fulfill for each one of us according to our own challenges, be they physical, mental, or spiritual, be they health challenge, be they financial challenge, be they loneliness challenge, we ask that you fulfill for each one of us according to these needs. All this we ask in the name of Jesus. I pray for peace. Just as I make an hour we're driving to the church this morning, we hear a punch in northern Nigeria where sleeping students, innocent students, were just massacred, killed in their sleep in northern Nigeria. It was just a few days ago we hear of the uh, shopping mall massacre in Kenya. It is like the never cease. And almighty God, we get, we struggle between our fears and our faith that you are still in control of the world. World where people believe in slaughtering, believe in carnage, believe in atomic bombs and nuclear bombs, believe in going to war rather than discuss. This family of faith join me to ask you, Almighty God, to hasten down the days when men, when nations, will learn war no more. They will not rise up against another nation and they will put their tears in swords and plowshares and study war no more. Teach us, hasten down the days when we believe in discussion over conflict when we believe in peace over warfare, when we regard each other as brothers created by your own image. God of peace, we know you can bring peace back to the world. It is obvious we humans are incapable of helping ourselves. Come back, almighty God, and restore peace. Hasten the day when your children will know peace once more and the anguish cries will cease and be replaced with joy and glory to your holy name through Christ Jesus in whose I pray. Amen. I pray for our safety for today and in the coming weeks. Almighty God, we come again before you, stand before you here, sit before you and ask that today, in the every single day of the brand new week to come, we may remain under your shelter, so that wherever we are, wherever your spirit will lead us to, we'll see and feel through your saving grace, through your blessing, that you are indeed the God in whom we must always trust. Keep us safe, Almighty God, from all dangers hidden and not so hidden. Protect us from all ill health. May we not come down with any or develop any that can cut short our lives and ruin our health and the resources you have richly blessed us. Heal us when we are already subjected to some. Let not the bullets, not even the arrows that may fly during the daytime or evening touch any one of us. Let us not be in any place where there will be destruction that will cause great havoc and wastage. Let us 
not be subject to the plagues that may strike at night or in the daytime. You are the source of power to every living thing, so we have come to you to be our shelter and our keeper. And so may no disaster strike any, any one of us, may no violence come close to where any one of us is found it. Assign, Almighty God, your angels to be in charge of each one of us, to protect us wherever we are and wherever your spirit will lead us to. Empower those angels, each one of those angels, to pick us up in their hands if they have to, so that we will not even hurt our toes on the ground. Empower us, each one of us, physically, mentally, and spiritually, to overcome any challenge, any that they show up on our way, no matter how strong as the mighty lion that challenge may be, and no matter how dangerous as the poisonous snake that challenge may be, may we simply trample that challenge under our feet and look up to you and recognize how gracious you are to us so that we worship you and glorify your name in humble gratitude through Christ Jesus in whose name I pray. Thank you, Christ Jesus, because you have invited us to pray. Thank you because you have encouraged us to ask on behalf of this family of faith at Fourth Street, I have asked, and in your faithfulness, grant us according to the prayers of our hearts. Bless us, mighty Jesus, even more than we have been able to focus enough to remember to us. For we pray in your holy name. And now, people of faith, please join me to recite the prayer, the simple prayer that our teacher, the Lord Jesus Christ has taught us, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, and the earth is in heaven. I pray for you.